Shout out that Ferrari motor, you pushing. Yeah, you built yourself a great life. Carving out dudes hearts with that steak knife. I guess you wasn't satisfied with just a free dinner. LOM community, what's going on? Lockout men here in the truck. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining me. If you like the channel, or if you're new to the channel, or if you come in just to say hi, what's up? Talk to your mans, yo. I would like for you to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell on the way out the door. Yo, what's up? Y'all ready for some truck talk and chill this morning? Man, oh uh, man, oh man, let's get into it. Let's let let's let's not mess around. Let's go ahead and jump right into this topic. Today's topic, man, is about trainers. Yeah, that's what's up. Trainers, man. You know, you new guys, you new jacks, when y'all come out here into this game, y'all gonna realize that y'all gonna have to get trained. You know what I'm saying? And when y'all get out here. That first trainer may not be the trainer for you. There's a lot of YouTube videos I hear like, yo, this is what you need when you come on the truck with you with your trainer. This is what you need on the trainer's truck. This, that, and the other. No. Let's get into the real, yo. Let's get into the real. Several years ago, came into this game, brand new, fresh off the block, greenhorn. You know what I'm saying? They gave me a trainer at U.S. Express. This trainer, man, he was the first one that I got, man, dude. Without even going into too much details about it, man, it wasn't, it wasn't a good fit. It wasn't a good fit at all. I just kind of realized that me and him need to, need to cancel our contract together. You know what I'm saying? You know, he wasn't. He wasn't the type to be training too much. All he cared about was how much money he was getting, how much money they was taking out of him, how much money he wasn't making. He was just talking money, money, money. And I'm over here like asking him questions about what do I need to know about this? What do I need to know about that? And he wasn't giving me none of that. None of that. So he left the company. He quit. He bounced out. He was like, yo, it's time for me to go. I ain't making no money over here. He was a lease purchase guy, got in all sorts of trouble. And he was brand new to, to the training aspect too. He only been with the company for a year and he only been training. I was his first, I was his first trainee. Brand new. So go figure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go figure. I I I, I peeped out this video from um uh, from a YouTuber named Trucking With Love. And she was talking about her experience with Prime. So you lady truckers out there, you really need to listen and pay attention to this video, man, because when y'all come out here to get in this game, y'all not coming out here to look for love. Y'all not coming out here looking for no trucker booze. Y'all not looking for no, y'all not looking for no dude. Y'all coming out here to get on your grind and get to that bag. That's all y'all cared about. Train me to drive this truck. Not to, not to be your trucker boo, not to be your, your, your slave. Because a lot of these truck drivers that's lease purchase, they get in that training thing so they can consolidate their money. Obviously, they're not making, they're, they they paying too much for their trucks or whatever the case may be. So they're looking for trainers or trainees. They're looking for, they looking for you to get in that truck to drive the truck and they, they don't do nothing, right? Another, before I get into the video, before I let the video play right quick, I want to tell you guys, if you're going through U.S. Express and y'all get on the dollar accounts, do not let that trainer take advantage of you, all right? They'll tell you some bullshit like, yo, well, this is what you're gonna have to do when you're by yourself. Well, right now I'm not by myself, so you gotta help me unload this truck. You know what I'm saying? 
they will they they will use you to their advantage. Like when they get there, oh well, you're gonna have to unload this truck because this is what you're gonna be doing. I'm the train, I'm the trainer, so I don't have to do nothing. No, nah, no, nah, dude. Get your ass over here and help me out, man. How about this? I ain't doing all this shit by myself. This ain't my truck. This yours. You getting paid for all of this, so make your money. So do not let them take advantage of you if you get onto the dollar accounts. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go on here to play the video. Uh, I did get permission for it. Uh, I did get permission for her. I did get permission from her to uh, to uh, have the video to be featured on my channel. So you guys sit back, relax, go and subscribe to Trucking With Love. The link is in the description. And ladies, pay attention to this video because this may happen to you. And it's not just at the company she works at. I'll let her tell her the company she works at, all right? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you for joining this morning for Truck Talk and Chill. That's what's up. That's what I do. Vlogs. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell on the way out the door. This is Lockout Men. One, let's get into the video. Whoop. All right, guys, this is your girl, Trucking With Love, coming at you guys with another video. As you can see, I'm in my personal vehicle um, after getting off uh, my second driver's truck. I'm not going to go into all the details of what happened, but I want to make this video for other females that are considering coming to Prime and um, going through their training process. I will tell you this much. You have, I want to work, I'm, I'm pausing because I want to make sure I word this correctly. I don't want any backlash because I still have two weeks left to go on this uh, journey of mine because I will be finishing this. I will be finishing this and I will be getting my own truck. Um, first, I want to say that Prime does have a good training program. Uh, they do have some good trainers here at Prime. However, you have a 40% chance of getting a good trainer. You have a 60% chance of getting a bad one. <laughs> uh, hindsight, looking back at it, I realized that my first trainer, he wasn't as bad. Uh, we had a, a we had a we had a disagreement as far as the um, a situation came where we got into it and it got verbal. Uh, on both our parts and we both apologized and things of that nature but what had happened was the trailer light had an indicator that we had an air leak in our trailer tie and then I, I was driving at that time so I looked at the air pressure and I noticed that we were losing air pressure so I, I immediately knew that I that I was I was at the risk of having a blowout I had only been driving for this at this time for three weeks, so having a blowout was like a really traumatic and scary thing. And I didn't know what I, I didn't want to have. I, I didn't want to have a blowout and lose control of the vehicle and potentially hurt myself or hurt my trainer who was in the back sleeping. So I pulled over to the shoulder. I woke him up. I told him that we had a situation where we had a tire uh, leak. We both got out. We both looked at it. We assessed the situation, and we know we did have a leak, and it was like. That was the sound of it. The message that came over to Qualcomm said that, you know, that we needed to pull over wherever it was safe. And at that time that we needed to call roadside assistance. When I'm thinking you calling roadside assistance, I'm thinking that means uh, they don't want us to drive the vehicle. Call roadside assistance means exactly that. Call roadside assistance. My trainer, who was a, a lease operator made it the executive decision that he didn't want to pay for roadside assistance that he felt like uh the tire could make it another 70 something miles which was the closest ta to have it repaired and that he was willing to take that risk to drive the tire as it was to the ta i told him at that point well if you want to make that decision that's fine but i won't be driving the vehicle i'm not going to drive a vehicle that I feel like has the potential to um, have a blowout. So 
So he took over and drove on my clock because his hours were out. His hours were out. He wasn't in the position to drive. My hours were on the clock. So he drove under my uh, clock. We get to the TA. TA says, okay, the tire, we did make it there safely. The tire uh, cannot be patched that it has to be uh, replaced. You know, so they went back and forth with Prime. Prime didn't want to have the tire replaced because by it being on the trailer, they wanted them to try to fix it. But TA said, well, this, this is something we're not going to be able to patch. If we patch it, you will have a blowout. So they they got back and forth and went back and forth with Prime. Prime authorized for them to uh, change change the um, trailer tire. Once we got the trailer tire, my trainer who was in the back seat, the lady came and knocked on the door. She asked me to come in to sign a piece of paper, which I did. And she told me once I signed that pa once I signed the paper that we needed to stop between 50 and 100 miles to have the tires. The, the lug nuts torqued okay I'm new I didn't know what having the tires I didn't know what that meant at that time so I asked her to elaborate she told me yeah if you guys don't have the lug nut torque there's a potential it's a chance that the lug nut can come a loose uh, causing the tire to come completely off of the trailer okay so I get back in the truck I'm I get back in, let them know I signed the paper, and then I and I go and I proceed and I drive like I drive about 75 miles. That was the clear the next uh, TA stop. So I I, I pulled the truck over into the TA and uh, you know I was, well I was woke him up and said well we need to go to the TA. They said this and that, and his his response to that was you're not gonna keep pulling my truck over. I don't get paid to make all this stuff when the, the wheels got to be turning to be earning or something along that lines. So I said, so you're telling me that you don't want to have the tires torqued. They'll tell you anything. Mind you, this was a free service. They'll tell you anything. They, they, they had already charged Prime, so having the tires torqued was not going to cost us any additional money. They're telling you anything. You, I'm the trainer. You're going to listen to me. We're not going to stop the motherfucking truck. and. But, Hold hold on. Oh, what what we not gonna what? Yeah, we not gonna keep stopping this motherfucking truck. We not gonna blah I said what we not gonna goddamn do is you're not gonna sit here and talk to me as if I'm your old lady, your best friend, or something along those lines when it's not it's none of those things. You you you're gonna watch your tone with me. This my you know, this my MF and truck. That's okay, well I'm not gonna argue with you about it. I, I, so I got out the, I got out the truck. I mean I got out parked. Put the, pull the brakes, put the truck in neutral, and I jumped on in the back. I said, well, uh, I'm not driving the truck anymore. We still got a job to do. We still, blah, 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 blah. Right, yeah, I, I understand that, but safety for, for me comes before first and foremost. That That's going to come first. The safety of operating this vehicle is going to come before all that. Making a coin before, before a dispatcher try to push me to do it. Safety is always going to come first because my ultimate goal is a, to earn a living and to return home to my family. So, you know, we had a disagreement and whatnot. So at, I was going to just go back and sleep it off because that was our first time having um, a situation where we really did not vibe. You know, he had, he was cool and he's still cool. We still talk to this day. We both apologize later on, you know. But once I got in the back, he decided that he wanted to get on the phone with his significant other as if I wasn't there and start talking all this mad shit. Oh, she trying to do this. She trying to, you know, talking about me as if I wasn't there. So I said, you know what? Maybe it's just, we, you know, we both them. I done wore my welcome off. Maybe I just need to go ahead and get me another trainer. Uh, because at that point I didn't feel like I was learning the things that I was going to need to learn to be able to be successful on my own. And at this point I'm only, uh, Two weeks into my TNT phase, I had only had like five. I only had five thousand miles at that point, and I had twenty five thousand miles. I said, "Well, maybe if I get a different trainer, you know, he and I are cool, but I don't want it to get to a point where we're not cool. Maybe if I get a different trainer, you know, it might be a better expense." So I immediately called dispatch, informed them what was going on uh, about the tire, about the torque, having all this thing, and all this and that. So they say, well, you okay. I said, I don't think he and I can move forward. Uh, can you, We at that time we was on 70, uh, 70 going through uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I said, do you think you guys can route us into Piston? 
you know, because our delivery wasn't that far from them. I'm going to get off. I'm going to get try to get another trainer. We're going to wait and see and all this kind of stuff. I'm just going to, I just can't do this vibe. I can't do this anymore. So they say, fine, you know, this and that. So I get the piston. They put me up in a hotel. Everything is cool, you know, uh, get another trainer. First week, one and two. First, second trainer, awesome. It, it was, I thought it was awesome. Um... And then some things started happening, you know, some things that I felt like was very inappropriate. Uh, it was another male, and I and I and I, didn't, I no longer felt I felt very uncomfortable in a way I shouldn't have felt in a training process. So I had expressed some things to him about. I'm not going to go into details of everything now. That would be another video of uh, things you ladies need to be aware of when you come into uh, Prime and you're considering to have a male trainer. Uh, That there's a lot of things that go on that you know you need to be aware of so I told them okay I need at this point I need to get back I've already done three weeks I'm at like uh, 22,000 miles I need to get back I need to get back home I need to go see my family I hadn't been there for three months brought me back home so before I even uh, got off the truck I knew I wasn't coming back to that truck so I removed all my items from the truck, called the dispatcher, you know, uh, told them I wasn't going to be going back, that I was going to be coming back to Springfield in my own personal vehicle, and they would have to find me another trainer, and I'm not going out with another male trainer. My experience when I came back to Prime was, well, he, well, you, you shouldn't have did this, you shouldn't have got off the truck, and you shouldn't have did that, you shouldn't have, you should have just stayed, or you should have, uh... Uh, I'm not buying it. I said, well, I later come to find out that this male that was training me, he was no longer supposed to be training females. What what was that about? You know, why would you put me with a man that wasn't qualified? Well, someone told me that. Prime didn't tell me. But someone that actually knew this person told me that. So, I tell him, okay, I don't want another. I, yeah, that's uh, beside the point. I'm not going out with another male trainer. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say or do what y'all want to do. If y'all, if, if there's a need that we have to cancel the contract or whatever, whatever we need to do, let you know. Let me know, cause I'm not going out with another male. I made that clear. I left the office, came back to the campus, came into the room, and, and I would say about nine hours later, I get a text. Hi, I, I'm I'm gonna be your uh, your new TNT trainer. I was like, hey, hey, how you doing? Oh, um, you know, uh, what what would you like to meet at the uh, campus in by this designated smoker? Yeah, sure, fine, we, we do that. I get there, meet. Guess what? It's some another male. I'm like, did they not? Did did I not express myself well enough to let them know that I was not doing a male another male trainer? Mind you, I only have two weeks left into this training process. Uh, while I'm back at Prime, you know, uh, I'm, I am available for dispatch, so I am still getting paid. But I'm not going out with another male trainer. Period. Under no circumstances, I, I didn't I didn't want to do that. So talked to the trainer, told him what I felt, you know, told him how everything, then he's like, well, I don't know why they would give me your number, and da 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 well, you know, sorry about nice guy, whatever, he went on his way. What now, what Prime is doing is, they try to make me feel bad about the fact that they don't have enough trainers. When they're accepting 160 people every Monday, but I would say between 80 to 160 people every Monday for the classes, and they don't have enough trainers. They had 11 women that have came back that were in similar situations that I was in that are here waiting for trainers or have gotten off the truck at home or whatever the case may be. You know, when I came to Prime, I was under the impression that the training process would consist of, you know, learning how to operate the vehicle safely and properly. Uh, also learn how to plan trip plan how to read an atlas how to do these type of things granted you can't learn all those things in a, a three four week time but if i asked the trainer that question i was under the impression that if i asked a certain question that they would know how to do these things because right they're training that's not the case at prime you can work for prime for six months as a new driver and then come into the training program because that's how many trainers they need me 
personally, I can work here for six months, but there's no way I would try to train someone else at six months time. I don't even have the experience on my own to probably, to, to, I wouldn't want to set somebody up to fail. Um, I have thought about, you know, once I feel confident in my abilities and everything to become a female trainer here at Prime, if I choose to stay here at Prime, because I feel like more female trainers are needed. Uh, they're bringing in a lot of women, but they don't have enough tra female trainers to support the amount of women that are coming in. Or you may have some female trainers that only want to train men. It is um, it's not what I expected it to be. I, I love the driving aspect of it, and I'm I'm going to make this my new career, whether here at Prime or someone else, or, or anywhere else, because I already have my CDLs, and I don't have a restriction on them. <clears throat> That's another thing I want to uh, touch bases on. You come to Prime, you talk to a recruiter, and if learning a manual is something you wanted, you have to stand firm on that. Because all the major carriers, say for instance, anything happens, you get a small preventable, and I hope that doesn't happen, but what if that did happen? And now you have to work for a small company uh, that's manual. They don't have automatics. Now you're in a situation where you have a restriction on your driver's license. You can't have that removed. You have to check with your local DMV to see what the process up to, would be to, have, uh, to be able to test out in the manual and to have that restriction removed. But why pay the same amount of money that somebody's going to pay for auto, for an automatic CDL that a person is going to pay for a manual and have a restriction and you can't go anywhere else. It just didn't make sense to me. That's why I was adamant that I wanted to be in a manual. Uh, Prom has some nice facilities. Yeah. Which as a driver, you won't frequent them very often. You won't be there that often. Uh, working for a major carrier, you are just another number. Working for a small box company, maybe it might be a little bit more easier in the beginning. Going to school before you come to Prime, that might be more beneficial. Going to a private school, going to um, a junior college or, or something along those lines may be more beneficial. If you go to junior college, you're going to come out with a, a non-restriction CDL because they're going to teach you how to drive a manual transmission. Um, I, I, at this point, I won't say I regret coming to Prime, uh, because I've learned a lot of things and I've really have been, uh, I've never been the type of person that thought I would want to drive a, um, commercial vehicle and I've, I've learned a lot of things, you know, from my first trainer. Now, from my first trainer experience to the second, I can't give you anything brand new that I learned during that process other than driving because that was his main objective was the drive 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 because that lined his pockets you know me driving lined his pockets you know when we would get to the place he wouldn't he didn't have the patience to uh, wait on me to back he oh we got to get to the next place let me just back but that wasn't helping me if i'm getting off the truck and i need to know how to back by myself how is you back in the vehicle helping me when well, you're supposed to be training me it was basically an experience where he just wanted someone just to be driving and he had some very inappropriate conversations that I didn't find appropriately appropriate, um, I, which I went into that uh, with Steve Tassin when I came back here to uh, Prime. And his words were, to me, that he wasn't buying it. So you, I'm telling you my experience, and you're you're not buying it. First of all, I'm not really selling you anything. I'm telling you what I experienced as a tra as a trainee here, and 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 I I was under the impression that backing was one of those things was was going to be part of the training process. You would think so, right? If you want a female ladies when you come here, stand to your stick to your guns. Don't let them just put you with a male. No matter what, no matter what, it is so much I could go over, and and I'm and I'm really disheartened. You know, I'm just really disappointed I'm disappointed in uh, everything that I have experienced so far but I'm not giving up I already have my CDLs I'm gonna stick with it I'm out here to make this money to be able to provide for my family and to be able to do some things that you know trucking has the opportunity to open a lot of doors that can open up for me and mine so 
I'm going to put this training, um, put this behind me. I'm just sitting around here waiting for another trainer to call me. We don't know how long that's going to take. But as soon as I find out something, I will keep you guys updated. Baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back But you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone